Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this video, we are going to continue our discussion of the celestial sphere. And specifically, we're going to look at the celestial poles and see what that means. So what are the celestial poles? Well, there's actually two of these. And simply, they are the extension or the projection of the Earth's poles out onto the sky. So you imagine the Earth's pole here, the Earth's North Pole. And if you project that out, just imagine it continuing straight up where it reaches the sky will be the celestial pole. In this case, the North Celestial Pole in the Northern Hemisphere. And if you imagine the South Pole, you will reach the South Celestial Pole. So what is important about these two? Well, they are the two they are the two fixed points on the celestial sphere. They are the only two points that are fixed and everything will seem to rotate around them. So while we watch other objects, stars rise and set, the poles will remain in the exact same spot in the sky. So you could stand there and watch them. Now, how can we see that? Let's take a look at how we can see the uh, celestial poles. And one way we can see them is with an extended image such as this one. This one is looking off in the northern hemisphere and the central region that little what looks like the vortex going up there in the upper right hand side is actually the location of the north celestial pole. So our pole would be located right in the central section here. And that would be the point at which everything seems to rotate. So all of these other stars seem to rotate around it. Not that they do. That's really just the Earth's rotation. But that fixed point is the extension of Earth's North Pole out into the sky. Now, how does this look if we look in the southern hemisphere? Well, let's take a look at that as well. If we're in the southern hemisphere, we can see something very similar. And here is the same type of image noted in the southern hemisphere. And we see the same types of patterns here. And one thing we will notice is that it's very dark close to the uh, south celestial pole. Unlike Polaris in the north in the north celestial pole, there is nothing that happens to be close to the south celestial pole. So in general, there is nothing at the poles and there doesn't have to be anything there. There may be a star near the pole, but that is not always what happens. So here we see there is not a bright star really close to the pole. But let's go back and take a look at the previous image. And we can see the star Polaris there. And you can see that bright, relatively bright star. And Polaris is not one of the absolute brightest stars in the sky. But you can see it right in there, very, very close within about a degree of the celestial pole. So in the northern hemisphere, that helps us to identify the celestial pole to find its location. In the southern hemisphere, as we've seen, you'll have to use other methods to be able to locate where the pole is. Because of course, you don't see the stars like this, but you can use other patterns to really figure out where the celestial poles are. So let's go ahead and finish up with our summary here. And what we looked at is that the celestial poles are the projection of Earth's poles onto the celestial sphere. They are the two fixed points in the sky that everything seems to rotate about. And while we may see an object or star near the pole, that does not have to be the case. So that concludes this lecture on the celestial poles. We'll be back again next week for another topic on the celestial sphere. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.